A lot of you guys have sent me direct messages and questions asking about something for hair loss. So today I'm actually going to talk about hair loss and how to prevent and regrow some of the hair that you've lost. Is we want to moisturize that scalp, we want to increase blood flow to the scalp, we want to reduce inflammation, we want to up our sebum level, we want to um, deepen our hair follicles and we want to increase the number of hair follicles. You probably need a carrier oil. I like to use olive oil because we aren't actually going to ever put it in your ends. You only want to put it in your scalp. The first oil that I like to use is peppermint essential oil. And I like peppermint because there have actually been studies done on peppermint and it's shown to um, actually promote hair growth and um, reduce inflammation. It also treats dandruff. Another oil that I like to use is ylang ylang. And ylang ylang is actually thought to stimulate um, sebum production. And that actually is what moisturizes your scalp. So dry scalp tends to result in a lot of hair loss. What I like is grapefruit and grapefruit, um, it stimulates the scalp, which I'm, will probably lead to increased blood flow, which will lead to increased hair growth. The other oil I like to use is jasmine and jasmine is a very strong um, oil. So if you do decide to use jasmine, um, you only need a few drops. And similar to ylang ylang, it moisturizes the scalp and it prevents that dry, itchy scalp. Um, so a couple of drops in 100 ml of sandalwood is all you really need. And sandalwood increases blood flow to the hair follicles and um, that stimulates hair growth like we talked about before. The last oil that I like to add is lavender oil. And unlike jasmine or sandalwood, lavender is a little bit more gentle. Um, so you can add more drops of it. You can also use it safely on children and it's actually thought to ward off head lice. So it's great um, to apply regularly on your kids. Um, it's also thought to treat dandruff, but they have done studies on lavender essential oil on mice. And what they found is that it actually increases the number of hair follicles and also the depth of your hair follicle, which will obviously result in thicker, stronger, healthier looking hair. If you do plan to make your own hair oil at home, make sure that you're not putting in too much because uh, too much can actually be damaging. So do enough research to understand how much um, some oils uh, such as sandalwood um, and jasmine can be very powerful and you just need a couple of drops. Whereas um, a peppermint or a lavender, a little bit more gentle and you can get away with more drops of oil. Um, so there you have it, some tips and some essential oils that you can use um, to treat thinning or hair loss. I hope that helps. Please do keep sending me messages, do keep asking questions and I'll try my best to answer them for you.